Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a past, present, and future reading for the sign of Virgo. These messages will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into this reading and see what messages Spirit has for you. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications whenever I post. So I'm going to jump right into it and we are going to start with the past. So I have temperance. I have the high priestess and I have the fool. I just heard taking off like there's a situation that you were very in tune with yourself about. And you were just very sure that you were making the right decision when it came to the situation. And you went like full throttle. Like you didn't hold back. Like you were just very confident when it came to the situation. You knew or you felt that things were going to work out in your favor. Because you felt like you were listening to your intuition. You were fully open. You were very balanced in your thinking and in your emotions. So the choices, the decisions that you were making were coming from a very good and sound place. So let's clarify the messages. Spirit, give me a message for temperance. Yeah, I heard like full throttle. Like you did not waste any time taking this leap of faith. Like you were very trusting of the situation. I have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So yes, it's like even though you felt like it was a good decision, it may have not been the best option for you at the time. I feel like you didn't get the outcome that you were expecting. You did not see the growth or the movement that you wanted when it came to this circumstance. So let's get a message for the High Priestess. And I just, I just heard career. So for some of you, this has to do with your career. A job opportunity. Okay, so I have the Five of Pentacles, I have the Ace of Cups in the reverse, and I have the Three of Wands. I feel like you did not get what you wanted out of the situation. Like, even though you trusted yourself, I heard like the other person couldn't be trusted. So, yes, like you knew that your intentions were pure, but this other person intentions were not pure and so you did not get the satisfaction you were expecting out of the situation and you ended up being disappointed with the outcome it's like you were just waiting you like finally thought that this was going to be it like you were finally going to get what you desired but you ended up being let down let's get a message for the fool i have the two of swords I heard doubting. It's like because the situation didn't go as planned, it's like in the past you may have started doubting yourself, like doubting your choices because you didn't get what you wanted. So it's like, you know, should I continue to trust myself? Like, am I capable of making good decisions? So, yes, you started doubting yourself, doubting your choices. So let's get a message for the present. I have the sun, I have the hang one, and I have the hermit. Virgo, this is your energy, and I heard having a pity party. So currently, you're still having a pity party over this situation because you didn't get what you wanted. This person left you out in the cold. This could have been some type of business partnership. This could have been a relationship, but you definitely felt left out in the cold. And like you are still dealing with these emotions because you didn't get what you wanted. 
You didn't get the satisfaction that you wanted and you feel like you were taken advantage of in the situation. And so you just retreated. This caused you to retreat and not really want to talk to anyone. You're not really dealing with anyone. I heard the holidays alone. So some of you may be choosing to spend the holidays alone. So let's get a message for the sun. I have the seven of cups. Yes. For some of you, this person had options. And that's why they couldn't truly invest into the situation. I heard they didn't choose you. So for some of you, they didn't choose you. Like they chose someone else to be with. And it's like you gave your heart, you gave your soul, your time to this person. And they ended up leaving you for somebody else. So let's get a message for the hang one. I have the five of wands in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person took advantage of you. And for some of you, I heard like several people. So this could have been something like a business relationship or even with family. Something that took place within your family and like they took advantage of you when it came to this situation. And you feel like let down. You feel like... They didn't have your back. Like they were just there to use you. And like this is supposed this is supposed to be your family or your friends. Like this is supposed to be people who genuinely care about you. But they ended up using you. So yeah, you just feel used. You feel used and abused when it comes to the situation. Let's get a message for Harmony. I have the seven of swords. So yes, this person definitely was being very sneaky. They was trying to pull the wool over your eyes. They were not being honest with you. They were not being forthcoming. Yes, their intentions were never pure when it came to the situation. Whether this is a relationship, whether this is something with your family, with a friend, it's like their intentions were never pure. They always was trying to think of a scheme or some way to get away with wrong. So yes, I feel like this person isn't a genuine person overall. Like they're very selfish and all they do is think about themselves. Like they never think about the harm, you know, or the devastation that they leave behind because of their actions. So yes, this person, they try to take what they can. And, you know, they're not focused on who they hurt. They're not focused on, you know, the devastation that they leave behind. It's like, no, they're only focused on themselves and what they can get out of the situation. So, yes. And for some of you, this person I heard is a female energy. So, yes, this female energy, this feminine, this feminine energy um, is very deceptive. And she was using you. She was using you all along. And this was very devastating for you because you really gave a lot to this person. You cared about her. But her intentions were never to be in a relationship with you. I heard someone else because she had feelings for somebody else. Like she was already involved with someone else or even if they were on a break. It's like she always intended to go back to this person because this is where her heart is. Her heart is with the person that she left you for. Like she was never truly invested in you. She didn't care about you the way that you cared about her. So let's look at your present. I have transformation. I have the star. And I have the star. I feel like... In the future, it's kind of like, it's going to be a part of you that, you know, is ready to move on with your life, you know, ready to become open again in terms of relationships. And I feel like it's going to be another part of you that still wants to be closed off, that still wants to be guarded. And it's like with this transformation, you're just going to be stuck in between. You're not really going to know what you want to do. 
because you're still going to be healing over this disappointment. So let's get a message for transformation. I have a page of cups. I feel like this is spirit trying to make you like a new offer, like trying to get you just to get you to embrace like a new direction a new path like just trying to get you to come out of this pity party that you're having it's like spirit wants to show you a different way a different way of life like a different type of relationship you know i feel like for some of you this may be a pattern you may keep on dating the same type of person and expect and expecting a different result, which is insanity. Yes, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result instead of choosing to do something different in order to get the result that you want. And I feel like this is just spirit like trying to, you know, awaken you, like awaken you to this new path, like awaken you to new opportunities, awaken you to this new journey. But it's like your head is down and you're not looking at what spirit is trying to give you. So yes, your head is down. It's like you're not looking at this new opportunity. You're not looking at this new path that spirit that spirit wants to offer. You're just looking down. You're just sulking. So, yes, it's like going to be very hard for you to really come out of this place of devastation because you really do feel a sense of loss. You really cared about this person. And like I said, family, spirit says family again. So for some of you, this is family who disappointed you. And spirit just wants to show you a new way of doing things, you know, to really guard yourself, guard your heart, guard your mind, guard your space, set boundaries. Yes, it's like it's time for you to really do some reflection on yourself and make the necessary changes because if you don't, you're going to continue to repeat this cycle. People are going to continue to take advantage of you. So you have to want to change. You have to want this. Spirit wants to give it to you, but spirit is not going to force you to change. You have to want it for yourself. Let's get a message for the star. I have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you, there's a part of you that wants like a new beginning, that wants, you know, a new cycle. You know, you want to start doing things differently, but it's like you're still holding on to something. And I have relationships. For some of you, this is family and you're holding on to these relationships. It's like hard for you to let this go because they're family. But it's like you're going to continue to be burdened. And I heard money. So for some of you, you have family members who ask you for money. You're always lending them money. They never pay you back. And you always end up in some type of financial difficulty. And they can never come to your aid. Because how are they going to help you if they're always asking you for help? It's like, no, they can't help you whenever you go through difficulties. But they always expect for you to be there for them. And it's like, until you release, until you let go and set boundaries, learn how to distance yourself, you're always going to feel a burden. You're always going to feel a weight on you. And I feel like you do want to change, but it's very difficult because of the relationships that you have with them. It's like you feel like you'll be turning your back on your family, but no, you won't. It's like you either set boundaries or you continue to carry this weight. But the choice is yours. Let's get a message for the star. Yes, we have both here. Low vibrational and high vibrational energy. Your shadow self. 
I have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you, you want to change. You want to stop giving to these people, to these family members. You want to stop repeating the same cycles when it comes to relationships for some of you. It's like you want change, but you're going back and forth. It's like you're not sure. You're not sure on what to do. But it's like spirit has the direction right here for you. It's waiting. Spirit is waiting. All you have to do is lift your head up and let the light shine through. Spirit is just waiting for you. It's like you don't have to go back and forth. You don't have to wonder. All you have to do is be willing to take action. All you have to do is accept this offer that spirit wants to give you, this offer of transformation, this offer of change. Because, yeah, you're tired. You're tired of giving. Like I said, for some of you, you're tired of giving to family. You're tired of giving to friends. It always leaves you at a disadvantage. You're tired of being in unfulfilling relationships, choosing the same type of person, ending up in heartbreak. It's like you're just tired. So it's like, what are you going to do? You're tired. So now what are you going to do about it? What steps are you going to make to see a difference in your life? You have to be willing to put forth the action because no one is going to do it for you. And like I said, the offer is there, but spirit is not going to force you to take it. So let's give one more message. dance it says allow your allow yourself some fun each day just as the sun dance, dances with the moon each night so yes dance and i feel like with this dance it's like spirit is telling you to get in rhythm with yourself yes get in rhythm with yourself become one with yourself yes that is how you're going to become open to this new path that is how you're going to become open to direction by dancing with yourself getting in tune with yourself aligning with your higher purpose your higher calling yes dance dance with yourself become one with yourself and that is how you're going to start putting yourself first your needs first and that is how you're going to attract people in your life who are genuine who really wants what's best for you. So I hope that these messages resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.